Two things that are really obvious. You have one minute. Well, I put question wood ducks, but I mean the ducks death. You know, like a wood duck question. <laughs> and I'm sure that's not what they meant. gear and turning paddles, carrying it like playing or uh, animals. Good. Your simile? Yeah. Don't be shy. Yeah. Tumble out of the sky like maple leaves. Mm -hmm. There should have been a lot of alliteration. Yeah. High and haughty, marshes and meadows, home-seeking crows, meadow mice, pines planted, tradition transmitted. Nasal plucking of some amorous coot. <laughs> what was that nasal plucking? 
clucking. Nasal clucking oh, of some amorous coots. Hyperbole. <laughs> <clears throat> the geese that proclaim the seasons to our farm are aware of many things, including Wisconsin statutes. And an example of I wish I had said that. essay, um, but I cannot, and I am well content that it should remain a mystery. Did you enjoy your essay? Did it, you know, did it? Uh, they had March. 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 They had the East one. I tried to also, even though these are ones I assigned to most of the classes, also to pick it towards Amaquan. So this one, you should have a lot of geese that would, would relate. Uh, how about Illinois bus ride? Is that the group back here? Okay, your summary of the essay. Engineers and farmers have changed the landscape of Illinois to accommodate farming every square inch of land. They straighten streams to increase runoff, plowed curves in the field to slow it down. The plants that once enriched the soil have been replaced by corn and beans. Your uh, let's see. metaphor? The tree was a buoy in a prairie sea. Your simile? Or a simile? We all had the same simile. <laughs> <laughs> the highway stretches like a taut tape across the corn, oats, and clover fields. I've got that one too. <laughs> Alliteration? Uh, safe for soybeans, prairie cocoons, war bears followed, hot tape. They all seem to have a lot of alliteration. Um, assonance? White spike? Baseball taxes? Prairie sea? Um, your omnilopia. Roosted fluttering pigeons. Your hyperbole. Even the pigs look solid. Anonymic phrasing. The limitable garden of forgotten blooms. And your example of, I wish I had said that? Illinois has no genesis, no history, no shoals or deeps, no tides of life and death. And I'd pick that as my hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one will be Monument to the Pigeon. Huh? Monument to a Pigeon. No, it's the pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. I'll pass it. Okay. Uh, one to two. Are your summary? This is Natalie's. While many of nature's creatures remain, the pigeon no longer is evident in this frame. Only a statue as a silent witness to honor what was and to notice what is remain. Neither bombs nor inventions can illustrate man's supposed superiority over the beast. Only humankind's courage and freedom to live in the moment and embrace the past will suffice. Your metaphor? Rushing phalanx. Wow. Rushing phalanx. That's a good one to say loudly. I don't hear it. <laughs> Your simile? To see, some, to see America as history, to conceive of destiny as a becoming. Alliteration. We like the bursting beach now. 
like birth babies and that kind of bursting. <laughs> the pigeon lived by the intensity of his desire for clustered freight and bursting beech nuts. Yes. Assonance? Um, oh, this oaks. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that intolerable one. intensity. Oh. Um, your omnomatopoeia? In unison. Nuts will plop. Plop. <laughs> <laughs> plop their wings in thunderous applause. Hyperbole. I have um, economic moralists. You know, I had that as <laughs> I also had that as anatomic phrasing as well. Well, yeah, I suppose. And I have intolerable intensity for yeah, so we have. hyperbole. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you have an anatomic phrasing? Questing wood ducks. But I thought of them as wooden ducks. <laughs> so, yeah, not the species. <laughs> yeah, not the species, <laughs> like wood ducks. So you thought of them as duck decoys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the feathered tempest yeah. we had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that was good. That that was good. But I like, I like the, the yeah. wood duck yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. And your wish I had said that. Oh, you guys had to Somebody get that written down. I don't have to. We had two, actually. Um, the one I liked was, this is one of those peculiar truths that are valid, but not for the regions alleged. Who <laughs> <laughs> had the funeral one? Yeah. Had the funeral been ours, the pigeons would hardly have borne this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's hyperbole. Yes, um, that's their wish I had said that. Oh, wish I had said that. Yeah. I had said that. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed your essays. Um, you've got a sense of um, all the different literary terms. Um, you know, it's your, the book is yours to keep. You can read it over and over. Maybe you'll find another essay that sort of piques your curiosity. Maybe you'll find something written in here that's a springboard to your poster about Emma Kwan or to some other thing you might want to, project you might want to conceive about Emma Kwan. So let's. I'm ready to begin the new stop, so if you get back in your seats.
comets don't cross the sky every day, great journal-worthy events seem hard to come by at first. So I was forced to look hard and close and long at everyday things to fill those pages. And you know what? The closer I look, the more journal-worthy entries I found. That's what we're doing here at Emmaquan, is we're just looking closely and we're just documenting the little things. Like I said, I documented that there was a crescent moon the night I saw frogs, or just you know the little, it's the little trivial things, but it's those details that are going to make your writing come alive. When you go on a trip, you know, or go somewhere, do you ever? How do you prepare? I mean, besides just running all around the house and throwing things in your suitcase, you know, and making sure you, you have plenty of batteries. Do you ever think about what you might see, um, what you might encounter? If you plan to write or journal, do you ever do any advanced preparation? Well, something I like to do, and I do this for the trips my